Hello guys, they're here back again with another video. So today I'm gonna make a re review, if I can say it like that, of uh, this uh, new ROM, which is uh, by the name of Project Alice, the first version, the beta one. So I already made a review about it. Uh, be sure to check it out. There's gonna be a link into the description down below. So uh, this is after a couple of days uh, review of the ROM. So uh, as you can see, it's based on it's based on the latest version of Android and the Samsung experience, and uh, it has the March security patch. So it uh, the model number uh, has been changed to uh, G955F. Uh, this is the S8 Plus version number, but uh, as uh, because this ROM is a full port of the S8 Plus, uh, this model name is uh, over there. So uh, battery life uh, has been uh, really really great in this ROM. It has been uh, pretty fantastic. As you can see right now, I have 87% and uh, I have 51 minutes of uh, screen on time. So I easily got four or five hours of uh, screen on time and I'm uh, with the regular version, not uh, the Edge one. So uh, as you can see, I also played uh, our Clash Royale. About 50, 25 minutes of uh, those uh, 50 were into the game. So uh, this is a pretty, pretty good uh, battery wife over here. So uh, the always on display is uh, the updated always on display with this infinity wallpaper is uh, something very very good you can see over here and uh, you got uh, a couple of them into the settings down below you got uh, those six and there is a preview for every one of them and uh, now I'm showing uh, things that I didn't cover in my uh, first video so uh, I thought it would be interesting to you. So as you can see over here, you can uh, see the animation it is uh, doing whenever you unlock your phone. So you can choose your wallpaper and there are also those uh, steel ones that are uh, still great. You know, those, uh, this one especially goes uh, really, really good into the, it, as you can see, there is a warning about uh, that when you use a steel wallpaper that the infinity effect will be turned off. And I uh, started uh, saying that uh, this uh, silver one goes uh, really, really nice uh, with the silver phone. So uh, I really liked it. But uh, Infinity Wallpaper right now is on another level. So uh, I really, really like that one. So uh, another thing that is uh, interesting over here is, uh, you know, about that uh, yellow tint on the S8, which is uh, right now everywhere. Uh, basically, what I do with almost every ROM is uh, you go to settings display and then you go to screen mode and change it to basic these are the most real wife covers and the other one which is also really good is amulet cinema which uh, almost uh, removes all of the yellow tint and um, makes the display look a lot lot whiter as you can see over here adaptive uh, conserves a uh, lot battery and I, I didn't like it on adaptive also i don't like uh, the photo one so i'm uh, on AMOLED and BASIC, these are the ones that I changed. You can see over here into the picture, this uh, one is uh, a lot brighter and this one is uh, a more real like. And so those work with uh, the blue white filter. So you can see that when the blue white filter is turned on and uh, you try to change the screen mode, it says that it uh, cannot be used at the same time. So it will be turned off. But now when you go back and you turn it on, it is uh, working uh, normally. So uh, don't be scared by that warning. It is uh, nothing, nothing uh, really great. Uh, so over here uh, you got uh, basically nothing new. You don't have navigation bar. Thanks God, because it's uh, really, really pointless when you have those uh, navigation buttons. So also keep uh, screen turned off is uh, working uh, very good. So I'll show you right here that if I cover those sensors and I click over here, it will show me this message that the screen will turn off automatically in five seconds to prevent that uh, uh, cover don't cover the screen I think it said you can uh, see that one by yourself also adaptive brightness is uh, something something uh, really really occasional uh, when you install that ROM don't uh, use iris scanner and face and walk because uh, this will kind of break your walk screen and then you have to reinstall the ROM so be sure not to do that uh, the f also, you have on the always on display over here, uh, you can change it to clock or information so that you don't see that uh, home button on the bottom because it's not working and there is uh, no real point in it. 
so uh, it's useless and it will and it will probably burn out the display also uh, those face widgets are uh, perfectly working over here about the music controller next to one today's shadow when you're in the, always on display you just double click and it will uh, show your uh, widgets and you can uh, customize those over here and there is also contact information which uh, whatever you type it will just go uh, over here into the always on display as well as uh, into the walk screen so uh, this is uh, very very nice but uh, I'm, I don't find any type of use of it if you have a youtube channel or something you can leave your name over there also this is find my iphone uh, my phone <laughs> sorry find my mobile uh, this is the equivalent of find my iphone so uh, I'm thinking on uh, making another video about that, especially about this one. So uh, be sure to click that uh, subscribe button so that you know uh, what is uh, coming next. And I know this is probably my most uh, boring video, but uh, these are things that uh, I cover this room for people that uh, aren't rooted and uh, don't don't are not sure whether they want to trip their knocks for this room. So uh, these are the changes that I'm showing. Uh, between this ROM and the uh, stock S7 version probably a lot of you guys that have already flashed ROMs know uh, and uh, know about uh, those features and are bored of them but uh, I'm showing them uh, for people that aren't uh, a lot into routing and uh, doing stuff with their uh, devices so over here this is uh, Bixby you've heard of that too it is uh, also port it to our device and it works very good as you can see over here but I'm not really into it so that's why I keep it turned off also into the S8 launcher you have those uh, home screen settings uh, you can pause the video and check out uh, which one what does and also over here something very interesting uh, when you double tap the or triple tap even nothing happens and uh, this uh, makes the device uh, home button uh, work really really well as you can see whenever I tap it it just uh, exits so it's uh, really really nice over here and uh, if you uh, want to turn on the camera just press double uh, twice the power button so this is how you open the camera shoot oh, probably it's not uh, turned on no it's turned on but uh, it's not listening to me so as you can see over here into the quick launch it says the press key twice and uh, this is uh, probably it's uh, still it's still comfortable I uh, I still managed to do it uh, very nice you can see this is also the S8 camera so it uh, has that uh, slider over here to zoom you can still swipe by doing that but it's kind of pointless when you have it uh, over here now so uh, the other settings uh, that are into the camera menu are those you can pause the video if you want uh, to see any of them I keep turned off motion photos because uh, right now I'm shooting with iPhone 7 Plus and using a 3D touch it uh, it's really really nice so uh, when I have to tap over here an icon to you to see a, a motion photo it's just pointless when whatever you can 3D touch on the iPhone so uh, soon they're becoming uh, there will be coming a comparison between this device and the iPhone 7 Plus also the regular S7 and also as you can see over here the Galaxy S6 so there will be speed tests and uh, again be sure there are those won't be uh, so boring videos so uh, be sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see them also check my other videos uh, I think I covered all those changes that are here into this room also uh, be sure to click that like button it keeps me motivated and uh, i hope there was uh, something interesting that uh, you found in this video so uh, thank you for watching guys uh, see you soon